So, having said that about rectangular parallel pipe, we have found out all the formulas related to rectangular parallel pipe. Now, it's our time to start off with Q. Now, students, just have a look at the diagram itself. You shall find out the difference between a rectangular parallel pipe and a Q. In rectangular parallel pipe, all the three dimensions were different. Length, breadth and height. Length, breadth and height were different in dimensions. Now, if you happen to look at your Q, I have stated over here, length is length, the breadth is also length, and the height is also length. Why? For a simple reason, every single dimension in a Q happens to be the same. That's the reason I have written length, length, and length. Prima right, see, this is the first difference between a rectangular parallel pipe and a Q. The second difference you shall find it out is, as I stated earlier, that in a rectangular parallel pipe, every single face, students recall yourself how many faces we said earlier for a rectangular parallel pipe? There were six faces. Same goes with Q also. There are six faces in Q, but in a rectangular parallel pipe, every single face was a rectangle. Over here, in Q, every single face happens to be square with dimension L by L. On a parallel line, we shall try to find out the formulas for cube as well. The first one to go with, area of base is equals to, area of base is equals to area of top. Now students just pay attention over here, as we know that every single face is a square. So the base face is going to be square and area of square is side square. Over here each side is L, so the answer is going to be L into L. So answer for this is area of base into area of top which is side square which is L square. If you want we can try and correlate both of them and we can also find out the formula with the help of rectangular parallel pipe. Let's see once again. In rectangular parallel pipe the area of base and area of top was length into breadth. Length and breadth were two different dimensions. Over here also I can apply the same concept absolutely on a parallel line. I shall say over here also it is going to be length into breadth. Students we can say length into breadth as well over here but see the length happens to be L and even breadth also happens to be L. Thus length into length that's the reason we have length square. We shall go with the next one. We shall go with the next one. The next one is area of vertical faces. So area of vertical face, area of vertical face, area of vertical face, I have given you the general formula, the general formula is perimeter into height, I shall once again write down perimeter into height, again the general formula remains absolutely the same. Now what lies the difference over here, every single face was a rectangle in rectangular parallel pipe. So that's why we have written the perimeter as twice length plus breadth because Perimeter of rectangle is twice length plus breadth. And into height. Here, it's going to be perimeter into height. But perimeter of what? Perimeter of one single face. And in a square, perimeter is nothing but 4 into side. Perimeter is nothing but 4 into side. Side over here is nothing but L. So, we say perimeter is 4 into side, which is 4 into L into height. Students over here, height is also L, so it is 4 into L into L, that's why it is 4 into L square. That's why it is 4 into L square. Area of vertical face is 4 L square. Once again, students, I would like to correlate with this formula, with this formula, and try to, try to gain this one as well. Let's see, over here, if I have to make all the parameters as L, L, so it is twice L plus, in this case, breadth is also L. Breadth is also L, so L plus L is 2L. 2L into 2 is 4L into height. Height is also L. So earlier we got 4L into L is 4L square. So there are many ways one can derive the formula. As one can derive with perimeter into height as I stated earlier right now and derive 4L square. At the same time, you could have taken correlation with rectangular parallel pipe also and gain the formula. Again, the area of vertical face turns out to be as 4L square. With the third to go with, when I say area of vertical face, the third one is total surface area. Total surface area. How many faces we have as we studied right now? There are six faces in total. And right now I said that every face happens to be square. And side of square is nothing but, or rather area of square is nothing but side square. How many faces are there? Six. 
So one face ka area is side square. Six face ka area is going to be side, six into side square. Side square happens to be L square. So the answer turns out to be as six L square. The answer turns out to be as six L square. If you want, you can again correlate with the previous one. As we can say, L into breadth over here is again L. So L into L is L square. Breadth is again L and height is again L. So again L into L, L square. L into L, L square. So L square plus L square plus L square, 3 L square into 2 eventually gives you 6 L square. So with the correlation also I can get 6 L square. And if we go by the general formula or even if we go by every single face, that each face happens to be L square. Since there are 6 faces in total, that's why total surface area happens to be 6 L square. The final to go with is nothing but the volume. The final to go with is nothing but the volume. Absolutely on a parallel line, volume is going to be area of base into height. Area of base into height. This is not the general formula which I have written over here also. I write down the general formula over here as well. Now if we focus which I, every, every single face is going to be square. So area of base is L into L. L square into height, height is also L, so if we say it is area of base which is L square into L, eventually turns out to be as L cube, eventually turns out to be as L cube, thus volume, volume of a cube turns out to be as L cube. We finally, even, even if you want you can correlate, even if you want you can correlate with the above rectangular panel length into breadth into height. All of them becomes the same. So length into length into length, answer is L cube. Again, we are making the same answer, L cube. So let's refresh for the final time. For cube, area of base is equal to area of top, which is L square. Area of vertical faces is 4L square, as we derived with two ways, once with the formula and one with the correlation. And total surface area happens to be 6L square. Finally, the volume happens to be L cube.